What's up everybody, T Mook here. Let's uh, finish getting all of these sheep. Or die in the process and get pissed off. Get out of my way. <laughs> That's a great way to start an episode. Now we're just gonna cook the sheep. Because sheep love being set on fire, as you can see. Especially the ones with little hats. Oh. Oh. I know, Kitty, it's horrible. Don't think about the pain. Think about saving those sheep. Start that over again. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. More cages. Good luck on your quest. Well, at least... At least they were nice enough to leave some of the cages open. Hopefully those are... No, no checkpoint, though. Because having a checkpoint would be silly. That's almost like rewarding you. That's why they gave me this guy. Can't feel good, you lost. Here, have the most annoying one of the game. The little reflection things do literally nothing. They don't push them back if they touch them. See? They do nothing. They're the stupidest effect ever. I would say it doesn't deserve to be in a game, but a game this bad definitely deserves something horrible. How are you not dead? Oh. This game's almost making me as mad as I was playing Prince of Persia. 
sands of time. That game was... Mm. And so is this game. But Prince of Persia is the only game that's ever made me throw a controller. I'm so angry. This game, gotta say, uh, hasn't yet, but it's getting pretty damn close. I mean, this is okay right here. I mean, I get You have to have, with the level scheme that they have and everything, you gotta have boards of enemies coming at you. I get it, that's fine. I don't mind that part. And I guess for that matter, I get why there's no checkpoints in either. If it was just a survival thing like uh, the Binding of uh, Isaac, that would be completely understandable. This gives you objective, not just, you know, not just regular, you know, little objective. It gives you these long ass objectives like this where you gotta go rescue friggin' 40 sheep without dying and facing all these hordes of people. And I don't know if it's really supposed to be a kid's game because I, I mean, I watched some of those cutscenes and those cutscenes are horrible. I get that it's, it's real issues that need to be taken care of, but you definitely don't want that in a kid's game. I don't think any parent should let their kid, well, this, their kid play this game unless they're ready to have a talk with them about uh, serious, serious uh, animal abuse and uh, in the. Uh, Fishing. It's done properly. I suppose. I mean, I, I like fish. I can't really say bad things about it if it's done humanely. But, um, yeah. This game is incredibly dark. And, uh, there's not a lot of things that make me, uh, say I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't have a, or, one. there's not a lot of things that make me say that, um, I wouldn't want a kid to see it, but, this game definitely, uh, makes that, makes that list. <laughs> and, personally, I mean, it's good for educational purposes as far as the cutscenes go with this, but, First of all, the cutscenes don't have anything to do with your cat. Or these piece of shit robots. Um, but they're just really dark. And unless you're, you're ready to have a talk with your kids about serious issues like that, uh, this game is definitely not kid friendly. Quite frankly, I don't think many adults should play this game either because it sucks. This game just flat out sucks. So, I mean, it's just my opinion. Take it however you want. God damn it, fucking spinny things that take out almost two hearts. Um, but. Yeah. Like that sheep puncher cutscene, that was that was horrible. But I understand why, you know, people need to stop and think about these things, but come on. Making this like a kid's game and promoting it as a kid's game and in the store and everything and in your little video for it. That's just... 
I don't, uh, I don't like that. But, hey, whatever. I'm playing the game, aren't I? They got me good. I'm playing this game, and you're all watching it, so. I guess that's some form of promotion, but I'm not playing this cutscene. Don't you fucking die, kitty. Don't you die. Don't you die. Fucking robots pin me in the goddamn corner. Oh my god. And that's why this game is shit. I'm pinned in the corner again. God damn it. Yeah, game over. Woo, fucking who? Did I at least get more sheep? Okay, at least the sheep count is progressive. The sheep count is progressive, so... Even if the game does suck a chode, it at least, uh... It at least gives you that. I guess. I'm just trying to find some good things to make me keep, keep playing this game. It's just so bad. Whosever's idea this was, I'm sorry, but it, it doesn't work. It's a horrible game. The only people who might say this game is fun is people who don't play video games on a regular basis, you know? Or environmentalists. They, I don't even think they would even say that this game is fun. I think they'd say this game is educational. But come on. This game sucks. I don't even think people who enjoy these types of games would enjoy this game. like 50 more screens until we get to the sheep. Don't worry guys, we'll get there eventually. Or die. You know, there's always that option too. That's something this game likes to do. This game likes to kill kittens.
kids are into these days. Invisible walls and also things that push you into blades. Even though they shouldn't. Oh look, some sheep! We found some sheep. Just poop some yarn balls on them. Robots are allergic to yarn balls. Here, let me give you some of your wool back. might have the money that we need to make cause kit before we finish this mission. Holy crap! Robots are That's breaking news. Breaking news. Robots are evil. Robots hate kids. Maybe this is set in a future setting where the human race has been destroyed and robots have taken over. And there's a kit in rebellion. The kit in rebellion. Kittens can no longer take the evil robots this world and enslaving other animals. Or maybe the human race was turned into cats. That sounds like a good video game idea. Maybe you could have adventure and some plot. I know the kids, the kids are into this stuff though. Fangled. Fangled games have been around for forever. Only don't put a plot with it. Kids don't like plot. Kids like robots trapping sheep and hats. Flowers. Don't forget the invisible walls. I mean, if it doesn't have invisible walls, then don't even bother making it because that's what makes a game. Hello, Slendarios. It's actually a cool name. Am 
Why must it be wasted on a game like this? Get out of here! Okay. Okay, I'm ending it here. Uh, if you guys uh, want to see me suffer through any more of this, uh, let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, this may be the last Kitten Squad video that I ever do. This may be the last time I uh, even have this in my, my uh, console. Unless you guys want more. Uh, let me know in the comments. Or, if you like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter, you can let me know there. Uh, make sure you like if you like the video, if you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe if you would uh, like to see what's coming next. Uh, until next time, see you later, guys.